my grub lovers who ready to get their grub on you know that i am it's your boy mr grub back again with another video for you guys and today i am going for another sweet spot man brooklyn sweets in fort pierce i'm going to check them out i heard they have some delicious ice cream and, and all the sweets that i can take man so i'm going to try to head over there and get me something i don't know if i want just regular ice cream this time i know i did uh you know joy's ice cream uh friendlies i got some good ice cream I think I want like a milkshake or something, man. I don't know, malt, maybe a malt. Uh, we'll see. So I'm gonna head over there now, guys. Check them out. See you guys in a bit, man. All right, guys, so I went ahead in there and I said, you know what? I could have got the ice cream and the cookies, but I wanted something I haven't had in a while. Well, we're waiting. I had to get me a root beer float. Now, some of you guys may know about the root beer floats, but when I tell you when you mix the root beer with that vanilla ice cream, man, it's a different type of sweet, okay? And for me, I was like, let me try something different, man. You know, um, that stuck out to me, you know? Like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I gotta have it, right? So I went ahead and got my root beer float. Here it is. You guys can see it. You can see it right there. So so what the good thing about it is they bring out the root beer, give you the three scoops of, of ice cream, and pour the root beer in there for you. And not only that, but they also give you your can too. So even if you're running low, you can always fill it yourself. So I like that, man. You know, you can get a root beer float made for you, but then... You know, depending on how it is, you may be like, man, I wanted some more root beer. I wanted whatever. There you go. So shout out to Brooklyn Sweets for that. Um, also, not only did they give me a straw, but they gave me a spoon. You don't get a lot of places to do both, you know, because everybody has their own cup of tea. You know, some people want to eat it with a spoon. Some people want to drink it. Me, I'm kind of in the middle. OK, I like to just drink it with a straw. But if it, be, it gets too thick because of the ice cream, then, you know, I have an alternative. So, you know, that's definitely a plus for me. I'm going to try this, man, because I it's been so long. It just go down so smooth, man. Mm. I'm telling you guys, if you've never had a root beer float, you gotta try one, man. And if you're in the area, definitely check out Brooklyn Sweets. Like I told you guys, I, I'm, I'm gonna drop the address down below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. This is a good root beer float, man. I love when it's something I haven't had for a while, you know, and I'm not from the area, so if I haven't had it for a while, you know, that's the last taste I remember from wherever I got it from. So to come here and get it, and it's, it's like that it feels just like home thing, man. <sighs> Brooklyn Sweets, man. Shout out to you guys. Definitely a good job on the root beer float. And I know you guys are thinking it's something simple, but I'm telling you, it's not, man. Like, you have to put just the right amount, you know, a root beer, just the right amount of ice cream. Because you don't want to be too watery and just be like root beer. You, you also don't want to be too much ice cream and you can't enjoy it. You got to hold it and wait for it. You don't want that. So you have to know what you're doing, man. And they know what they're doing at Brooklyn Sweet. So shout out to them. Um, I mean, I, I'm in love with this, man. I, You know, uh, just based on taste and originality, uh, you know, the feel. You know, the atmosphere walking in, you know, it's like the mom and pop place. You have, you know, the, the older gentleman sitting down and you have the older woman behind the counter. And, you know, uh, she, she, she tells you Merry Christmas. You know, that's the grandmother feel, man, because they tell you Merry Christmas as soon as December 1st hit. It ain't even Christmas, but you're going to get that. It's Merry Christmas. And then you're walking out and the gentleman sitting down says, you have a good one. And that's solidifying that, hey. That's my wife. My nigga. <laughs> you know, or, 
that's my girl. It, it, it's the old, the old gentleman thing. A lot of people don't notice that though. If you have a guy sitting there, he's like, man, he's by himself. He's not saying anything. And there's a woman working behind the counter, and she tells you, have a good one. And then you're walking out, he says, take it easy, have a good one. They together, man. Hey, yo, you might have just made a fact just now. That's some real shit. Y'all, y'all, I'm gonna school you. I'm gonna school you now. I'm telling you. So, besides that, man, like I said, based on this, Brooklyn Sweets, you definitely get a ten from me. I, I, can, I can give a root beer for the right? Well, I'm going to give it to them anyway because this is amazing. So, shout out to them, man. If you guys are ever in the downtown Fort Pierce area, check out Brooklyn Sweets, man. Get a root beer float. Tell them Mr. Grub sent you, okay? Mm. Trust me, you will not regret it. So I'm going to go in and finish my float up, man, because it's right where I wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? I'll get back to you guys in a bit, man. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. All right, guys. So like I said, man, if you're ever in the area, definitely check out Brooklyn Suites. Oh, they hit the spot for me today. It's been a long day. I'm feeling all cool inside. I ended my day on a good note, man, thanks to Brooklyn Suites. If you guys ever in the area, definitely check them out. Not to mention... You know, uh, when she wished me the Merry Christmas, she also gave me this coupon. You guys can see this. So what it is, is I get 15% uh, off the next time I come in. And that's before, you know, I even pay for my drink. So just from the heart, man, Brooklyn Sweet, shout out to you guys. You guys definitely check them out if you ever get a chance to. I'm telling you, man, I'm amazed at all these small businesses that are really making a lot of noise and some people aren't listening but i hear you guys i hear you so shout out to them don't forget to like and subscribe comment below if there's a place you guys think i should check out let me know if if you know you guys are interested in root beer floats let me know what your favorite drink is you know um, you like root beer floats you like the, the the malt drinks you like the milkshakes you guys comment below let me know what's your favorite and who knows Maybe I'll try that next. Until next time, guys, it's your boy, Mr. Grubb. I'm out.